And you see at the hatchway the uh, four departing Crew 9 crew members posing for some final photos. Final handshakes and hugs between uh, the departing Crew 9 crew members and uh, the crew members who will remain on board the International Space Station maintaining a continuous human presence on the orbital laboratory that began on November 2nd, 2000. Go ahead on two. Uh, we are on in step five with the smoke two, and we found some uh, pieces of dust around the hot seal area. So we are going to clean them with uh, carbon tape. Copy and concur with the plan. Japan Aerospace now Exploration. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Takoya Onishi, newly arrived on the station as part of Crew 10, uh, noticing uh, a few flecks of dust along uh, the hatch seals, so he will uh, clean those off. Another view of the crew aboard uh, Dragon Freedom looking... Uh, there is uh, one SpaceX bag, it's labeled as unarmed PFD. It's a bag number is 153, and uh, it's carabiner attached to one of the bungees in PMS-3. Can we just leave it as it is? Checking. Once again, uh, you're looking at a view uh, across uh, the four crew members, uh, Butch Wilmore in the foreground, uh, Alexander Gorbanov to his left, then Nick Hagen just obscured on the far uh, right-hand side of this configuration is Sonny Williams. Just about one hour and 24 minutes from now. Just to recap, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore accompanying Commander Nick Hagen and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov for the ride downhill and a splashdown off the coast of Florida on Tuesday afternoon. We uh, will be resuming our coverage, joined uh, not just here at the Johnson Space Center, by, but by our colleagues in, uh, in Hawthorne, California, at the SpaceX Control Center. We will be back on the air just over an hour from now at 11.45 p.m. Central Time, 12.45 a.m. Eastern Time, for the undocking of the Dragon Freedom and the Crew-9 crew from the International Space Station. The weather conditions 